Hey everybody, it's Brooke. We're back. Episode 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2. Uh, I am so obsessed already with Season 2. Like, it already feels like... It just... I always love a Season 2. I like that we get to explore more with our characters. And you see a budget increase. Like, you see a big difference, right? Um, if... You are like, oh my god, I love episode 4, but episode 5 and 6 are my jam, and I need to see her reactions now. You can subscribe to my Patreon. It's in the description. Uh, you'll see my patrons on the screen right now. Uh, I'm always two weeks ahead on Patreon, so with YouTube cuts and with full reactions. So whichever you prefer, we've got it for you over there. Um... Last episode, we got new villains, um, Spike and Drusella, I believe. Uh, they kind of rocked into town um, and joined up with the Anointed One and his vampires to, like, attack the school. But Buffy obviously stopped that, and they killed the Anointed One. Out of nowhere, I thought he was going to be such a bigger character. Um, so I think they're our main villains now. For me, personally... I'm not that scared of Spike. Uh, he, like, kind of gives Damon, Eric Northman vibes for me. Just, like, in the way he looks so opposite to Angel. But they have a connection. And I just, with my vampire <laughs> lore, love triangle knowledge, I have a feeling where that's going. Uh, and then Drusella, though, she scares me. I don't know. That actress is amazing because I immediately got, like, uncomfy. I was like, oh, her acting's amazing. Uh, so I'm excited to see. I don't know if this is going to be a Monster of the Week episode so we won't see them or if they're going to become the main plot. Uh, I'm excited to find out. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying my reactions. I love all your comments and getting to, like, discuss. So, I really appreciate everybody who comments. Like, I try to make sure I respond to everybody if I can. Uh, because I just... You guys have such cool insight and, like, you see some of the stuff differently. Or even when we see it the same way, it's fun to talk about. So, make sure you leave me a comment about this episode. Um, we're working to get to 300 subs and I'm trying to think of a cool goal for that so if you have any ideas for cool sub goals maybe put that in the comment today uh but I'm, I'm excited I know you guys just want me to get to the reaction or you're the people who skipped here because you know it's reaction time <laughs> okay let's go episode four I don't know what we're in for this is so unfair. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, Buffy. It's the Uber look stuff. so cute. Well, I could have at least worn me. I have the best costume for the dance. I mean, I'm it sounds fun. In my house for two weeks. I'm gonna be insane. A danger to myself <laughs> and others within three days, I swear. What are you looking at? Pictures of our exchange students. Look. <laughs> okay, why do they have the exchange students printed out like a like you can order them? That is not how it so works. How's yours? Uh, I, was just told. I don't think so. You didn't look at him first. He could be dogly person who's living with you for two weeks is a man with man yeah. parts what about the beautiful uh, men and women can be friends culture. Xander you no should Melvin, know okay he better keep his parts to himself what do you oh, lack some okay. smarts he makes don't up fuck and with this project you just don't like him because of that time he beat you up every day for five years but that yeah, might be it I'm irrational that way I wasn't gonna use violence well I don't always use violence Willow, hi. That's probably oh, not Oh, well, at least he's nice to, to Willow. You could get in trouble. Oh, no. And they might kick me out of school. Yeah. No. I think Wait, I he's nice to Willow. Don't memorized. ever be mean. There are 103. The Incan Burial Chamber. The human sacrifice. Okay, I don't... You guys are... I don't know. Maybe one person will know what I'm talking about, but this whole museum is giving um, Nancy Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand vibes. It's like... It's a video game... I've mentioned them before, but it's in that one, it's Mayan exhibits, but it's literally like it feels like the same vibe as in the video game at this. Like, uh, one day, if I can stream, we should stream like the Nancy games or something like that. You'll see what I mean. But it, like, I feel like I'm in that vibe. Sacrifice is about to begin. Full teenage girl to become their princess. Oh, I have a bad feeling. The story ends with, and she lived happily ever after. Incan people sacrificed their princess to the mountain god Sabatayat, an offering bear. 
So Buffy, when's Exchange Old Boy making his appearance? His name's He could be very nice. We're at the bus station tomorrow night. Is the zombie princess to gonna to come to life? Stench of urine. But no, okay, it's weird. I know he wants to go after the artifact, but it's weird. Bro, like, just don't touch shit. Bro, you broke that plate from Hobby Lobby. What the heck? Fuck is going on? Uh, okay, no, thank you. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that is not. <laughs> Sorry, if you kick like that, you, you got a job to do. <laughs> Your secret identity is going to be difficult enough to maintain while this exchange student is living with you. Am I the only one who's objective enough to make that distinction? Dude, it's just an exchange student. You're not even dating. So Weird. Giles, Let her go to the it. dance. Something's no gonna happen gonna either way. Go. Yay! Yay! Cute dress time. I thought you were taking Willow. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take Willow, but I'm not gonna take Willow in the sense of take me. Stop you, leading her on, then. I love Willow, and she's my best friend, which makes her oh not the kind God. of girl oh who my... I think about her lips that much. Oh my God! Oh, she's the kind of girl my that poor girl. I'm best friends with. Willow. Hi, we were just talking about You're literally things. two feet away like from you. Like, of yeah, course she heard you. Oh my god, poor Willow. <laughs> it's time to move on and no, find someone worthy. Trouble with Mr. Munson again? His parents say he never also came Munson? home last night. Eddie Munson? You know, I don't think... I didn't either. I hope he didn't get in trouble at the museum. No, he's fine. He just got eaten hey, by maybe a he awakened zombie. The mummy. <laughs> in this town? Is that a joke? They're like, oh no. One day I'm gonna live in a town where evil curses are just generally ruled out without even saying. Well, I'm gonna manifest that for her. Look at this series of Oh my god, what if the mummy <laughs> replaced his what? <laughs> Sorry, I was saying something and then a man attacked them? Um I was gonna say, what if the mummy replaced her body with his body? Like, but it does look the same. I don't know. But also, what was that? Okay, I just saved us, right? Were the Incas very advanced? Yes, yes, very. Did they have orthodontists? Yeah, it's him. He has braces. Well, if there's an answer, then it's it's locked in, in the seal. You know what? If she's pissed because the human sacrificed her, that's a little fair. Girls. I'm late. I told my mom I'd pick him up. Uh, uh, oh, Buffy, that's where are awkward. Your priorities? You know, maybe he could translate the seal. Oh yeah, fall for the old. Let me translate that ancient seal for you. Come on. Ugh. How many times I've used that? A lot. It's also kind of rude to not pick him up because, like, this person is coming from another country. What are you doing? Uh, no, thank you. Ampara Gutierrez. So do we have his to poor Spanish parents? He was in America for a day. And Chihuahua. Uh, Ampara is supposed to be a dude. Oh no, we've got another Xander falling in love with the monster. I am Ampaka. It's very good. Yeah, you got your stove, your fridge, it's How does she know functional. English? We're very into it. You're a girl. Yes, for many years now. Man, not a like, boy, cause yeah. we thought a boy was coming in. Here you are. And, uh, I, I've toured. Where did you go? I don't I like how he's to talking to her, Atlanta, but I like that they're Boston. making fun of it. Your English is very bueno. I listen. Oh my much. god, he's the worst. Like I talk much. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like back home? I mean, at least like she's not a giant. Oh, you feel right at home in Sunnydale. Praying mantis. Oh no. I mean, I feel like she Thank is you. killing people, and that's a no. But I do feel bad that she you was must like teach me shoved in a thing. But I am not one of your little groupies. I won't be all doe-eyed looking up at you standing at the edge of the stage. We're now on to Go. Devin. I'll be standing at the edge of the stage. What's that guy? <laughs> Does he just like Momento. follow her Mira. around? Oh. Cordelia and Santa oh, are the same. American. So I'll see you later. Not they don't speak oh. American. Cordy, you can't do this to me. Cordelia. I mean it's 35. She's a Wonderland tour. It involves a feather ball and a theme to a summer place. What are you doing here, Seth disgusting. Green? You're that is picky, Seth man. Green. Am I crazy? Do you know crazy? how many girls you could have? You're just impressed by any pretty girl that can walk and talk. 
She doesn't have to talk. Oh my god. Really hard on my costume. It's pretty cool. Ooh, wait, yeah, costume dance I'm in. No one cares. Think. It's a celebration of culture. Oh no. Oh no, they're having a dance where they dress up like another culture. I'm not sure how well they'll handle this. To today's standards. For those standards, I bet they do better than most. But I am flashing back to Willow in the kimono last season for no reason. We'll see. We'll see if we give them, they're at least like making Xander and Cordelia the dumbasses for their like bigoted view of people who don't speak English as their first language. So you know, I, I, they are aware. <laughs> Mocking alternatives, all aimed at me. Why are you suddenly so worried about looking like an idiot? Yeah, he's school. like obsessed with her. It is just more people than I have seen in a long time. I was, I was wondering. I can't wait to help you make friends. This is the grown this. man librarian. I was in no way awkward. She's like, I something wrong? don't speak ancient. Uh, no, ancient. it is. Why are you asking me? From from uh, your region, it's uh, okay. But like, if you asked me to like translate ancient fucking French or something, I'd be like, what? Like, I don't like no. Like, I don't think everyone from South America can, like, translate ancient, like, Incan and Mayan and stuff. Tomb of an Incan mummy. It is broken. Where are the other pieces? That's all we found. Translates it I, perfectly. I think this represents, I believe the word is bodyguard? That's a very good starting point for our, um... Oh, so club. that guy's her bodyguard? Um, but, like, is oh, he magic? I I need her to and find somebody who values her. It's called a snack food. You are strange. What? Girls always tell me that right before they run away. I like it. My well, man please, is only attracted to people who are going to kill him. Ha. I wonder if the bodyguard isn't protecting her, but protecting the outside from her. Hey. She's so sad. Go. You guys are not ready for the party I will throw when yeah. Willow gets somebody who values Xander her. I can find someone else who's not me to obsess about. Well, you know, I have a choice. I can spend my life waiting for Xander to go out with every other girl in the world until he notices me. <laughs> Honey, no. Or I can just get on with my life. <laughs> Hello, we choose. We're getting on with our Good life. Work. My work? Yeah. It implies that the mummy is capable of feeding on the life force of a person and effectively freeze drying them you might say or in the rest of the seal that's what you get for that. Oh. i'm my man where is it like i understand he's probably a good guy but maybe we don't go sword first what's he want destroy it uh if you do not that's you bad oh not my god we're in uh <clears throat> Bro, she's only there for two weeks, if it was really her. We're in the crime club. Please understand me. That seal nearly got us killed. It must be destroyed. She said destroy it. Of course she wants it destroyed. It's probably the only thing that can stop her. Gonna hurt you. I'm trying to convince her that our lives aren't just danger and peril around here. Well, you they kind of are. Dance. Just you. But you're a sight in your costume. I'll see you there. Oh. She is you such a well, good friend. He doesn't ask. deserve her. So they'd still be at the museum. So maybe we should go there and find them. Nods are he'll show up too, right? And hopefully we'll be ready. Right? We'll meet there tonight after it closes. No. Bad plan. No, I she wants to go to the dance. We dance have to go plans. now. Lame. I guess he'll stop okay, people from I being turned into time. raisins. And it's kind of a secret and it's um. He, what? a little bit scary. I like you. Oh, oh my god, I thought you were going to tell her. And I want you to go with me to the dance. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I like you too. Really? Really. That's great. Really? Really. Oh my god. I beg you. Do not kill me. You are already dead. I was innocent. The people you kill now so that you may live they are innocent yeah he does have a point please okay okay 
What if she agrees to only do that to murderers? Still not okay. Like, cause I do feel a little bad for her, but then I fe also feel bad for the children she killed. I don't think. I am in love. You have no choice. Uh, tell that to Buffy. She got to die and come back to life too. She said no thanks. Yes, I do. The dance. I will go with you. And she, well, she likes Sanders. She doesn't want to suck his life force. But I feel like she might try to go for Willow or Buffy. The stations and the rest of your stuff. Oh, of, of course. I, I forgot all about it. You must get ready for the dance. Uh, so she's not going. going. And she's gonna see all your man stuff. I but you're supposed to, to be a man. Crime club work. It's really nothing for you to worry about. This one? Oh, no, that clashes. There should be a gold one in there somewhere. You remind me of someone from very long ago. The Inca princess. They told her that she was the only one. That only she could defend her people from the netherworld. She was the only one. Chosen. Oh, she familiar. was like her. I'll just unpack the rest of your stuff for you. No, really, let oh. me. Bro, you kept him in a box? Also, he brought a lot of boxes for two weeks. What culture are you? Embarrassing. You and Willow are taking on Pata. Giles and I are hunting mummies. Where's you and Willow? She's not coming. He says you're beautiful. Yes, you. You're welcome. Be careful. I will. Oh, don't worry. Hey. Buffy is way less likely to find the mummy than you. You look good. Dingo's ate my baby. Is the band name. The outfits are better than I thought. Cordy, maybe not the best. Oh, it looks great. I'm just extremely happy. Can you tell by my face? All around me a familiar face. Maybe I should have worn something sexy. I love your costume. It's, it's very authentic. Thanks. Where's Buffy? Thank heavens you're home. Uh, why are you at my house? Not dance. Oh, he's already been found in a school restroom. Mummified. Dude, there's like another okay, dead person at the school Why that's the mummy fine. kill her own bodyguard? He was a guard, all right. But it was his job to ensure that the mummy didn't awaken and escape. So, yeah. I'll translate it, but she was wiggy about the seal for minute one. Yes, yeah, and none of you noticed that for some reason. Why would a girl pack these? How about this one? What kind of girl travels with a mummified corpse? Uh, and doesn't even pack a lipstick. The true twist. She needed to borrow lipstick. Guys, they can't keep making me sad for Willow. <laughs> I feel like I should feel bad for him. Because, like, it's not going to work out again. But it's also kind of like a wake-up call. They don't like real human. That girl. Who is she? She's an exchange student. I think she's from South America. The Eskimo. Oh, he's into the Eskimo. He's into Willow. Is Seth Green gonna be nice to Willow? See? Come on, Your people you will find down? you. It is they do do long dancing scenes. I like that at least this one is like montage -y. Wait, don't kiss her! I don't know if it happens if she, whenever she kisses someone. Uh, I gotta pee. But that's just like a cowboy. He didn't do Shut nothing. Of waiting. Well, yeah. Okay. I you waited long enough. That the seal was used to contain the mummy. Putting it we back together. We need some gorilla glue, glue. and someone who won't glue their fingers the together. There. Hands feel kind of gross. Rough. Don't do it. You're gonna die. Empata. Why'd you run away? Uh, she's a mummy. You think that you don't deserve me? <laughs> I am very happy. I'm very sad. Is she gonna tell him she's a mummy? I mean, she could, but I yeah, I, I judge Sander, but I don't think he'd be okay with the murder. It's a secret, right? I'm interested, does she care more about being able to stay, like, outside of it, or him? Okay, so she can kiss someone without 
killing them? Okay, I think she can control it. Ew, oh my god, ew. No, I can't. Like, it's what side relax. effects is that gonna Very have? Good, but it's Taylor Twin. Seal. Need to find him. I'm part of the mummy. Oh. Good. Hey, I am. No! He's trying to say hi! God damn it. Where's Ampata? He doesn't she look okay. He looks seal. sick. The seal. Child. Damn, she teleport now? I mean, I don't think it's fair, uh, but also it. if you have to continue killing to live, Some I just piece. it's like not okay. I'll say one thing for you, Ink and Mummies. You know, kiss and tell. Looks like you've been keeping secrets from me. Okay, you both need to chill. <laughs> What if she could get, what if she could get the youngness from vampires and then her and Buffy could team up. Okay, I know she's going, but like, I kind of like. If you're gonna kiss anybody, it should be me. Sandra, we can be together. Just, just let me have this one. Let's do it now, or it is the end for me and for us. No! You're gonna have to take mine. She's like, that is the opposite of that? what I want. She's like, yes. yeah, honestly. Yeah, they, she's known you for two days. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, that's gross. Sorry, your girlfriend turned into dust. They're all like, we're just gonna go. Like, hopefully the museum didn't have security cameras. How are they gonna explain to that kid's family why he didn't come home? I'm really the fun talking guy today, huh? Company excluded. I have the worst taste in women of anyone in the world. Ever. Uh, Ampata wasn't evil. Yeah, she was in a really shit with. situation. She was just a girl and she had her life taken away from her. I like that they're having Buffy see the other side of the monster in this case, and I do wonder if that's helped by how she saw angels kind of different, right? So she's able to actually look at the people she's going against now and like seeing them less black and white because she did give a lot of grace to one of the kids in episode two with like the dead bodies and stuff and i was like you know but i do i think it's a change in her character from season one like we're seeing like her under she'll still do what she needs to do but she's understanding those villains and like where they come from and kind of realizing like they aren't just evil no matter what like there are circumstances in which people can become or do bad things you know and i really like that in this show i think they've done it really well this season remember how i felt when i heard the prophecy that i was gonna die oh that was a really good episode i really like that uh this was a really interesting monster of the week like the mummy coming to life um I liked it a lot. The actress did an amazing job. I really liked her because, like, you felt for her at the same time that, like, you knew she's the monster and you're supposed to brute against her and you don't want innocent people to die, but you're like, yeah, but she deserves a shot, too, at, like, a normal life after what happened to her. But it's kind of similar to episode two where, like, the moral of the story is, like, if you're dead, you probably shouldn't be coming back. It's, it's just not... It sucks that life wasn't fair, but at the same time, if you have to <laughs> cause more pain um, to be able to live, it's it's not really worth it. Like, if you can't without hurting those innocent people, like, it's not worth it. I did like her, though, and I thought it was a really cool moral dilemma of like her life was taken from her is it fair to take it again and it's like well it was already taken it's not fair for her to take more so like i did like that a lot uh xander drove me crazy as he does um i'm trusting y'all who say he gets better i'm waiting <laughs> no he's not that bad but i think i wouldn't have as much fun if i didn't shit talk him uh Willow, I think she is really starting, like, I feel this is the big first step we've been needing um, to see her realize it's not going to happen with Xander, but also introduce someone who looks interested. Uh, he seemed nice when he talked to the other guy. Uh, he actually seemed to be realize women are people, which the other guy uh, mentioned how he didn't need them to talk, so 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he, like, he, like, noticed her because of her sick Eskimo outfit, which I like. Uh, it makes me think he's someone who probably has similar interests to Willow, and they hopefully will get along. Uh, I do worry for him, though, because he is obviously a new character. He'll probably get a name. If he's reoccurring, I do worry for his safety. Uh, because I can't see this being a show where they kill any of our main characters, but I don't feel side characters are safe. I definitely don't feel, like, new characters introduced in an episode like the guy Willow was talking to at the beginning are ever safe. Uh, so I do worry for him there. Uh, and I wonder if he'll join our, like, Scooby gang. Who knows? Uh, but I guess we won't be able to find out until next time... Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, make sure you comment your idea for our $300 sub goal, uh, and maybe for a four or 500 one in case we get there at some point. Uh, I don't know, but what should our goal be for 300 Uh, and make sure you let me know what you thought of this episode, and I will see you next time.